All right, so we have the model completed. We got all the materials, all the furniture, all the accessories, the lighting, the ceilings, everything is complete. And now what you wanna do is you wanna take pictures of your model. This video is gonna show you how to take 2D pictures as well as 3D pictures of floor plans, elevations, and perspectives. So we're gonna start with floor plans first. I'm gonna go ahead and use this section plane and I'm gonna put it on the top and I'm just gonna hit OK. And this is a really great view. I love it because it just cuts right where that ceiling was located. The one thing that you do want to do is any soffits that you might have, you do want to temporarily hide those. So I'm going to grab this soffit. It's a group, so that makes it easy. Right click, hide. I'm also going to make sure since it's showing the grids that hidden objects is unchecked. Gorgeous. I'm also going to do the same thing for the section plane. I'm going to unclick it so that it temporarily goes away and we can see things. Looks like I might have an extra line here and extra guidelines, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that and then uh, delete any guides so we're good to go. And I'm looking around just making sure everything else is showing well. To show uh, the best view of the floor plan, you could try to orbit, but you're going to find really quickly that that's tough to do. So if you go up to where it says camera, you're going to see where it says standard views. And if you choose top, what it does is it perfectly places that floor plan centered. Now I've got my little gal over here. I have her off to the side a little bit. So what you could do is you could take the zoom window and you can come in here and you can see it this way. So this is a what I call a 3D projected floor plan view. Normally in a 2D floor plan you don't see the sides of the walls. Some professors like this view, other professors do not. So you have to be really careful and follow what your instructor or your boss wants. So if you want a more 3D look this is great. All you have to do is go to File, Export, and choose 2D Graphic. Then it's asking you like where do you want to save this? So I'm going to come in here and find where I want to save this final project. I'm going to do a new folder called Final Picks. Alright, so I'm going to do 3D floor plan is what I'm going to name it. And then I get to choose what kind of file type. So right now it's defaulted to JPEG, but if I click on here I could create a PDF. I could create a ping file. I could even create this as a CAD file. I've never done that, so I have no idea what the end result is. But for the most part, JPEG and ping is what you're going for. So I'm just going to stick with JPEG. And again, I'm just going to hit export. And of course it's going to take a little time to think. There's a lot of things that it needs to go through. And then I'm going to go find where it saved that. So final picks. Here is that 3D floor plan and you can see what it's looking like. So it's nice because it puts it on a nice clean background. I have my person far enough away so that um, if I want to put this into Photoshop and crop it, I sure could do that. And actually that's what I suggest. So remember that we do want to show where the door swings are because it's difficult to understand the traffic pattern that is needed for this particular space. But this is what a three-dimensional floor plan looks like. If I need a two-dimensional where it's more flat, that's when I have to do just an extra step. Coming back to SketchUp, go up to Camera, and do you see how Perspective is checked? Go ahead and click on Parallel Projection, and this is what's going to make it more of a 2D look, and a lot of professors and some employers are going to prefer this look, because then we're not really uh, looking at the 3D aspects, we're really just looking at the two-dimensional aspects. So again, to make this a picture, go to File, Export, 2D graphic. And again, it's all the same kind of thing. You get to name it. So I'll do the 2D floor plan actually. Let's do that. Export. And again, 
It's going to take it a minute. Oh, I was a little too quick. Here is the 2D floor plan. And you can see the person is really flat now, but we have a very basic two-dimensional look at the floor plan. So which look you choose is up to you. It depends on your uh, needs for your project, what you want to show your client. Some clients prefer the 3D, some clients prefer the 2D, some bosses prefer 3D over 2D or 2D over 3D. So it's really kind of up to whoever's in charge of the project as to which way that you go about it. But back in SketchUp, so it's under camera and you have to choose parallel projection or perspective. So perspective is going to be your 3D look. Parallel projection is going to be your 2D look. Now if I go to standard views and I go maybe front, what happens, I love that the cat is showing up there, this is going to give me an elevation of the front of the building. Same thing here, camera, standard views, let's look at the left. It's the left side of the building and it's an elevation. So there's no tops or bottoms and there's also no sides, it's just strictly all about faces. I like this too because then you can see like if there's something going on underneath so it looks like I have my desk um, is actually coming down um, below. So I just got to make sure that I get that up and into the floor plan. So again, I'm going to do camera standard views left. And now you can see um, there might be a little piece of furniture or something right there sticking through. But it's a really great way to make sure that everything's sitting on the floor correctly. And yes, you can still orbit and you can still go into 3D mode if you feel like you need to. But again, standard view, you can do the back. That's what that looks like. And I'm just going to go right back to top. And what I love about it is that it centers it completely. So it's perfectly straight and aligned with that UCS coordinate system that they have. And again, if I take it into perspective, it's going to go into a more 3D look of the space. All right, so I basically showed you how to do an elevation. So it's kind of the same way. Let's do a section plane in the front. Say OK. And then let's move this forward. So I get something about right here. Camera. Um, I'm in perspective right now, so let's do uh, front. So as you come into it, you can see that it's going into perspective. So like this is a one point perspective because we've got two walls coming out of a flat back. Same thing here, except that it's just off to the side a little bit. So if I were to orbit, you could see how you can get a one point perspective right here. If I go into parallel projection, it's basically a an elevation from the side that you were and again I'm just going to make sure that I go to front because this wall right here should be straight on so this is how you can get basic elevation views. There's no perfect way of doing this in SketchUp like if I just wanted an elevation of the kitchen what I'd want to do is just bring it in as close as I possibly could get and I should have used the pan but that's all right because we can keep going here and keep going to front. And my goal is to just get like the nicest, biggest picture I can of the kitchen so I can zoom in a little bit. And then I just do File, Export, 2D Graphic, Kitchen, Elevation, Export. And it might take it a minute. But here is this kitchen elevation and again I can take this into uh, Photoshop or Illustrator and I can crop it and I can give it a transparent background if I wanted to. There's a lot of things that I could do with this but this is how you can get a general elevation. Alright the last one I want to show you guys in this video is the perspectives. So let me do this. I'm going to go into perspective and I'm going to go into the top. There we go. So I can see that. Again, I have this all hidden. Let's say that I want to get a perspective of this living room. So I like to have my section plane hiding. So I'm going to go back to view and I'm going to make sure section planes is unchecked. And then I'm going to come in here as though I'm actually standing in this space. 
these little tools right here can really help you learn how to pivot or walk around um, so that it's kind of like a pan. My goal is to still see the ceiling. But see how I can um, catch the sides? I'm trying to get a view that will give me everything that I'm looking for. And if I need to walk around, that's what this is for. So you can kind of play around with what that's doing. Now, this isn't the end of the world. I could take Photoshop and I could kind of uh, use the clone tool, clone stamping tool to fix this so that it looks like the floor just kind of keeps coming out. So it's not the end of the world. Again, the eyeball is going to help you like position if you're looking up or if you're looking down to the right or to the left. So something about like that. So it's where you're putting yourself into it. You have to use section planes. We still want to see the ceiling. We want to see what's going on up there. And honestly, I don't think that I added any ceiling texture to this particular ceiling, but definitely make sure that you're watching what your ceiling textures are and what they're doing. And it looks like I have a floating cat. That's really funny. So I'm actually going to grab him and move him down so he at least looks like he's sitting on that uh, kitty shelf that I built, the little kitty runways. That's close enough. All right, so if this picture looks good, all you do, again, export 2D graphic. I'm going to do living room perspective. Export. And it'll always take it a minute. But you can see what I'm saying when I uh, look at this and it feels empty. It feels cold. There's nothing accessory wise except for maybe a cat and maybe a picture that makes this room feel lived in. So um, that's why I always suggest grabbing your people and put them in. Human height is uh, an excellent way to show a space. So try to find a place where they can go in. That makes it very helpful. What, where are you going there, Claudia? Or whatever your name is. But there should be things on shelves. There should be pillows on the couch or maybe a blanket or, you know, maybe a, a Coke bottle or something on the floor like you just got done watching a movie or something. So make sure that you give this lots of life. Maybe add more cats. Maybe... Uh, you know, books and accessories, things on the ceiling, that can help an awful lot. Adding a person uh, really helps the client and anybody looking at your picture really relate to it. Like, oh, okay, that's how high that is because you might not understand how high some things could be without actually having a person inside of it. So again, I'm going to do export 2D graphic. I'm going to re-click on that. Yes, I do want to replace it. What you could do is if you don't have accessories in here, you could take this into Photoshop and add accessories. You know, I do a transparent background video um, so that you can do that kind of thing. You can fill it in. You could add more textures to the walls, to the ceiling. There's a lot of things that you could do. So don't be afraid to mix and match your softwares because that's how you can up your game a little bit. Because SketchUp still looks kind of cartoony. Photoshop might be your opportunity to make it look a little bit more realistic. It's totally up to you. But here is that picture that you can use for your poster, for your project, for anything that you need to use pictures for.